to the heathen. So Colossians 2 verse 8, Beware least any man spoil you who philosophy and vain deceit. But that's exactly how Esau, man, got our people in this corrupt state of mind. Read that again. Beware. Least, Beware. Least what? Any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Yeah, that's how our enemies are spoiling, spoiling us, man. Because two-thirds believe whatever the so-called white man says. Celebrate this. Do this. Follow these laws. So they'll listen to the white man, but they won't listen to the Lord. That's how gone and messed up our people are. They're gonna run when they hear it's a cell, you know, but they ain't gonna run to the word. Yeah. Like the word is that's what the word is supposed to do. When you hear it, you're supposed to run toward it. It's supposed to be it's attractive, you know? Yeah. That's why the Lord said, if anybody uh, set a light, uh, uh, set a candle and set it under the table, you know? Yeah. You're gonna set it on top of the table, okay, so everybody can see it. So we're, so we're examples of, of, the, of the light because we have we have the word. We're speaking Yahweh Yahweh yeah, Bashem Yahshua's words. Okay, and you're supposed to be attracted to the prophets, you know? But you're attracted to sales, Christmas Day sales, you know? That's After Christmas Day sales, right. you're attracted to, to the customs of the heathen. That proves that two thirds of Israel is going to be put to death. Exactly. They're going to die because no, they, they, they don't they, they're not attracted to, to, the, to the righteous things that pertain to this world. They're attracted to the wicked things. Right. And like, like, just like the brother was saying, man, they got to fulfill their part of the prophecy. Just like we got to fulfill our part of the prophecy. So, you know, we understand that you can't get caught up that every, every, um, what you would think is a brother is going to hear the truth. Because the matter is, uh, the fact of the matter is this, not all Israel is going to receive, uh, what does the scripture to say, what they, uh, what they seek it for, man. They're not going to receive the truth. All right? The con, yeah. But what the election have attained it. So we're speaking to, 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 to those that, you know, have maybe a, a burning in the conscience that what we're saying is what well actually I'll say this, but the word, okay, if you how about Shimel Shai is saying is true. So th this message is it is for y'all, it's not for everybody. Alright. Uh, Romans uh nine and uh six. Uh, Romans nine and six. It says, Not as though the word of the most high have taken none effect. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Uh, so, you know, hey, bottom line is this. Each each uh, person's got to play their lot, all right? According to prophecy, two-thirds is going to fall away and, and, and remain without knowledge of the scriptures, and they're going to die, man. They're, they're going to be overtaken in, in martial law, okay? They're going to be overtaken by a missile, but they're going to have to play their part. Just like the elect is going to play their part. According to the will of Yahweh Bashim El Shahri, he's going to continue to do what uh, is required of us until the elect is sealed. All right? And that's that. Okay, well, I'm going to read this one again. Uh, 1 Peter 1 and 17. And if ye call on the Father who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work. Fine, and two thirds is not requiring after the Lord to actually do the work, man. Because that means they need to basically sacrifice their time to do this work. You, you got to put yourself last. You got to put everything behind the scriptures. Everything. All right. Your, your woman, your children, your, 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 you know, your parents, your mother, your father, everything yourself has to come last when it comes to the scriptures. All right. Two thirds. They don't want to. They don't want to give up the, the, the customs that they, they've been doing for their whole life. All right basically settled in their way. So for, for that reason, the Most High is going to destroy them. Which proves that not all peoples could be saved. All right? Because the Most High, like the Brother Red, is going, to, is going to judge you according to the things that you do. And if you ain't rehearsing the righteous acts, the Most High is not looking to redeem you. Because you're not, like this brother always likes to say, you're not a vessel for feelings. You got to be serious-minded. Two thirds is not serious. You know, I mean, you got you got this nigga over here dressed up like the fucking white nigga. Huh? Yeah. 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 Gold, corruptible yeah. things, exactly. So, but you know, hey, two thirds got got to get that delusion, you know. <laughs> That's why the scriptures say, uh, reprobate silver, so they call them con, Because the Lord had rejected it. So, uh, Colossians 2 verse 8, Beware, lest any man spoil you 
do philosophy in vain to see after the traditions of men at the rudiments of the world and not after your whole shot. Yeah, and the tradition of men are, are things such as Christmas. All right? That, that's, that's, that's an exact uh, uh, definition of, excuse me, I lost my thought. That's an exact example of a tradition of men. I don't worship. I don't worship. I don't worship. The very first uh, scripture, uh, the very first commandment is that what? Thou shalt have no other God before. So you don't even realize that when you, when you set up a Christmas tree, you put the lights on, and you fasten it still, you don't even know what that all represents, man. It all goes back to idol worship, okay? It's not of the most side. What about? Uh, this is uh, Matthew uh, 5 and 30. Beat, beat, beat. Matthew 5 and 30. It says, And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee. For it is more, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not thy whole body should be cast into hell. Huh? So, hey. We're celebrating Christmas. Yeah. This is what the Lord was talking about. Okay. So there's a lot. So if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off. So you better cut, you better amend your ways, okay? And do research, and you'll find out that you ain't supposed to be celebrating these pagan customs, okay? Because if you continue to celebrate them, this is this is what the Lord warned warned us about: hellfire. This is Gehen Gehenna's fire, right? Uh, Proverbs 12 and 26. The righteous, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Con, and that's just how Esau seduces our people, man. Even though we consistently tell you the, the proper way you should be living, man. The scriptures tell you never trust thine enemy. Okay, believe it or not, you've got enemies. Your enemies ain't gonna teach you the truth. They're gonna seduce you to, to, to go off, all right? They're gonna seduce you to do things that you're not supposed to do. That's why they were set up. Basically, the Lord is weeding out those that He wants to redeem and those He wants to destroy. So, 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us but we are not ignorant of his devices. Huh. We're not ignorant of any of Esau's devices. Whether whether it be uh, his uh, philosophies, whether it be his set-up shootings, whether it be the chip, whether it be the uh, music industry, all right? Any of that. We're not, we're not fooled by it, all right? And our people... You know, one thing I noticed about our people, they love to try to find the good out of it in everything, you know? One thing about what Christmas represents, you know, you give, you know, it's all about the spirit of giving, you know? It makes the kids happy. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they just don't get it, man. That, what, what could be so wrong with giving somebody presents? Well, you don't understand what that holiday Christmas represents, all right? The problem is, is you're confused. Alright, there's nothing good about Christmas, alright? If you want to give somebody a damn gift, do it on a different day. And don't do it in the name of Christmas. Don't do it in the name of St. Nicholas lying to your damn kids talking about a fat Edomite coming down the fucking chimney and, and putting trees under some damn uh, 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 Babylonian tree. <laughs> That shooting was a complete bullshit. Where it's like on that day, you setting up an assault rifle, decking it with gold and silver, and then giving gifts and saying, "Oh, there's nothing wrong with giving gifts." But look at what you're doing. You're, you're, you're worshiping on what a day where there was a what a mass slaughter, which really we all know was all set up. But I mean, in a small scale, that's what it's like. Because the Christmas has nothing to do with Yahweh Shai. It has to do with this devil right here. All right, and you're worshiping Satan by doing that. And this is what. And if someone comes up to you and is telling you to celebrate Christmas, you're actually supposed to put him to death, all right? According to this scripture right here. This is Deuteronomy 13 and 6. 
with thy brother, the son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or thy wife, and thy bosom, or thy friend, which is thy own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which thou hast not known, neither nor thy fathers, namely the gods of the people which are round about you, nigh unto thee, or far off from thee, from the un one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. Thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hark unto him, neither shall thou I pity him, neither shall thou spare, or neither shall thou conceal him, but thou shalt surely kill him. Thine hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people. And thou shalt stone him with stones that he die, because they had sought to thrust thee away from the Lord thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And that's exactly what Christmas is about, a pagan god. All right? Simiramis is in Talmud. Yeah, it has nothing to do with worshiping how much you know, so. I got your mind, man. It's, uh, it's, real quick. it's uh, Exodus 23 and 13. It says, In all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect, and make no mention of, uh, of the names of the other gods, mm. neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Otherwise what? You're supposed to be put to death. So if you disagree with what the Lord is saying, or what the word of Yahweh is saying, the Lord is going to put you to death. All right? And these are the nations that follow these <laughs> customs and, and gods. All right? First of all, that shows you they don't believe in, in, in the true power, all right? Or in the, in the power of Israel, all right? And it also shows you that they don't got a God, all right? But false, but, but, but false gods that are really no gods, as the Lord said. They're really no gods, all right? But we actually got a true power, man, who's able to redeem, all right? Who's great in power, great in might. As other nations don't got gods, man. That's why they got to set up false idols. But our people gotta get gotta, gotta get out of that worldly mindset. And it's gonna take a lot of uh, like to say, thy people, thy, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. My people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Man. It's, it's gonna take basically some catastrophic events. All right. It's gonna take a lot of these false prophets dropping dead for Israel to start becoming serious, man. Uh, James 4 verse 17 Therefore to him that knoweth to do good and knoweth it not to him it is sin. Like we go out here and warn you uh, things about Christmas and such holidays that it's a wicked custom. And you can go out and do it anyway. That's when you give you give warning. Okay? You know, but you do it anyway, so to you it is sin. Yeah, you know, or you don't consider it like like they take it like as a light thing, like like oh man. Not that big of a deal. It, it is a big deal. It's a big deal to the Lord. When you give an alms to a, 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 a false idol, a false god, a non-living, breathing thing. One of the Ten Commandments is a full Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not worship no god before. Yeah. Huh. This is uh, Ecclesiastes. If you, build, if you build something, you don't give the credit to somebody else who didn't build it. Right? Y'all gotta get out of this worldly state. And like I said, it's gonna take catastrophe. It's gonna take them plagues that the Lord is gonna send upon America to snap you out of this sleeping state, man. That's why the Lord said it's, it's high time to wake out of sleep for our salvation is nearer than what we believe. This is uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 7 verse 2. It said, it is better to go to the, to the house of mourning Go to the house of feasting. Yeah, and look, we're in the house of morning, man. Alright? What are we